This free open source AI video generator creates full HD clips with full image to video control and keyframe precision, all running lightning fast on low VRAM GPUs. Meet LTX Video by Lytrix, powered by their brand new 13 billion parameters model. Hey, what's up? This is Jal from Jal's AI Show and welcome back to another very exciting AI tutorial. Today I'll show you exactly where and how to use LTX video, including my personal demos. Most importantly, I'll walk you through installing it locally so you can generate unlimited videos offline. So without any further ado, let's get started. First, if you want to try this without a GPU, head to LTX Studio. After signing up for free, you will find powerful tools like storyboard creation and image generation. To make videos with the latest LTX V model, click Motion Generator, select the new 13B parameter model and upload your start and end frames. Set your prompt and duration, adjust motion intensity. Some features on the site are still locked for now, others are paid, but let's take a look at some of their demos. So the prompt is a brown vintage car driving past a diner on a summer evening, pink sky, glowing highlights. A bit heavy on the motion blur and the cars came out slightly distorted, but honestly the colors and overall vibe still nail that retro feel. Now let's try another demo, this time with the prompt a flight attendant on an airplane, crisp blue uniform and a lime green scarf. It's almost too perfect, except for the eyes. Next one, a cowboy in a yellow coat riding a white horse. Result, perfect horse movement, great consistency and smooth dynamics. Then we have a white owl sitting on a fence, neon lights in the background. Perfect consistency and smooth camera movements. Beautiful work. The platform also includes some great free features, AI-generated sound effects that actually match your scene's action, and camera control. Now about upscaling, that one's a paid upgrade, but for most projects, the standard output is already looking pretty sharp. But there's few limitations here, so why not switch gears to local installation? Now let's get LTX running locally. The official repo offers few installation methods, We'll use ConfUI. If you're new to ConfUI, check out my tutorial linked below. For everyone else, let's dive in. Scroll down the repo and you'll see two versions. The full 13 billion parameters model, best quality but VRAM heavy, and a quantized version for consumers GPUs, works on 8 gigs of VRAM. The official quantized option requires bloated Microsoft tools, skip that. Instead, we're using a streamlined FP8 quantized model by Kijai from Hugging Face, and this one even works on 6 gigs VRAM. Hit download and save it to your ConfUI models checkpoints folder. Next, download this image to video workflow. Just drag the file into ConfUI's canvas. First load might show some missing nodes, that's normal. We'll fix that in two clicks. Open Manager, update ConfUI, and install all the missing custom nodes. Now reload the workflow. First we need a clip model. I'm using the T5XXL FP8 version. If you don't have it yet, grab it from the Hugging Face folder linked below and save it to ComfyUI Models Clip folder. For frame rate, note the trade-off. 24 FPS gives higher quality with smoother motion. 60 FPS, more movement but lower detail. I'm sticking with 24 for now. Next, load the LTX FP8 model we downloaded earlier, then upload your starting image. I'm using this Pixar style scene in the prompt, let's say, friends hanging out. Here's where you set your dimensions, 768 by 512 for horizontal, 512 by 768 for vertical videos. For duration, it's always the number of frames divided by the FPS. In this case, 97 frames divided by 24 gives almost 4 seconds. But we don't have to do all this math headache because we can extend the duration of videos as much as we want. We'll see that later. Hit Q prompt to run. And we got this. Vibrant, consistent and full of life. By default outputs aren't saved. 
right click the preview and select save or toggle the save output to true beforehand. The body movement in this samurai fight scene works well, but there are some minor glitches in the swords. I really like the dynamics in this one, but the faces are a bit weird. But this one looks solid overall. So this gives you a basic video, but what if you want a full HD? Let's dive into upscaling next. So back on the LTX GitHub repo, you see two upscaler options. Spatial boosts resolution by adding pixel level details. Temporal reduces flickering and jitter for a smoother motion. So download the one you like and save it to ComfyUI Models Upscale Models folder. After restarting ComfyUI, unlock the bypassed nodes. Select the LTX Spatial Upscaler here and don't forget to toggle this to true to activate it. And you're good to go. That covers basic image to video. But for advanced control, let's switch to the keyframe workflow where you can guide every moment of the animation. Download the JSON workflow and drag it into ComfyUI. This version includes three image slots for start, middle, and end frames. If you only need a start and end frame, delete the load image node for the middle frame and its connected batch image node. Remove the middle frame number in the case sampler. These numbers control where each reference image appears. The first image at frame 0, the second one at frame 90. To add even more reference image, duplicate the load image with the batch image nodes for each extra frame. Stack them together in the batch, assign a conditioning index for each new image to control its influence. For this demo, I'll go only with two reference images. So let's use this shoe on black background for start and for the end frame, the same shoe but I added a nebula background and some particles in Photoshop. In the prompt, magic particles spins around the shoes and the nebula background. Simple, let's see if LTX connects the dots. I didn't expect such impressive results on the first try, there's a minor glitch but since this was just a test run, a different seed might produce a cleaner version. For the sake of time, I'll proceed with this output for the demonstration. To extend the duration, simply use this workflow, all the same rules and techniques from before still apply, no new steps needed. So it's good for almost any kind of video, but when it comes to characters, we notice that the closer is the subject, the better is the result. But where it matters, we're talking solid video quality at speeds that make other open source models look slow, and it actually runs on affordable hardware. I mean, getting these results on just 6 gigs of VRAM, the real magic is right there. So that's it for today, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and check out my Patreon to support the channel. See you in the next one.